I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. If you're a Windows Phone fan on Sprint, chances are you're asking yourself the question, Samsung Ative S Neo or HTC 8XT? Well, that's the question of today's comparison video, so let's dive in and find out which of these phones is the right choice for you. The Windows Phone as a platform mandates a lot of similarities across devices, folks, so it's actually interesting to see how different these two phones truly are. Not just on the spec sheet, but in fit, feel, and day-to-day -day usage. We've already reviewed the 8XT, and our review of the Ative S Neo is forthcoming, so let's take what we know so far and dive right in. Right off the bat, we're getting totally different messages from the hardware on each of these units. The 8XT, with its rubberized paint job and narrow edges, it comes off as the faster of the two designs. It manages to be at once slim, soft, and slightly sexy, but also somewhat toy-like in appearance thanks to its lone color option of California blue. On the flip side, the Ative S Neo is straight up Samsung. Glossy polycarbonate and chrome accents with a very subtle pattern beneath the battery cover's hyperglaze coating, but otherwise precious little to set it apart visually from other phones. In terms of dimensions, HTC's phone is lighter than Samsung's, and while the Samsung device is actually almost a millimeter thinner, it feels thicker thanks to the 8XT's tapered edges. All this works together to make the Ative S Neo feel like the beefier, some might say clunkier, device. A good thing Samsung stuck with its guns and kept the power standby button on the side. But that added bulk comes with some advantages. The Samsung display gives the HTC screen the business in a pretty serious way. It's a half an inch bigger at 4.8 inches, but the main advantage of the Ative's screen is its much higher resolution. It's 720p to the 8XT's WVGA. So while they're both LCD panels, the Ative's added pixel density will make for a sharper viewing experience to those of you who get personal with your phone screens for reading or Netflixing or YouTubing or what have you. Under the hood, the Ative S Neo's supremacy continues, further solidifying its place as the higher end of these two units. While these phones are fueled by very similar variations of the same processor, the Samsung phone offers 16 gigs of onboard storage to the HTC device's 8 gigs. Each one runs on a single gig of RAM, and each one offers microSD storage expansion, but only the Samsung device allows a user to swap the onboard battery, which is also slightly larger at 2000 versus 1800 milliamp hours. All this adds up to a pair of Windows phones that should do the job pretty well. Should. We've talked before about the 8XT's stumbles in the software department. Lag and stutter aren't normally seen in great abundance on Windows phones, but even after asking HTC to replace our demo unit, our software stumbles remained. The 8XT just isn't a terribly responsive device, which is a shame. The thing is, neither is the Ative S Neo. It doesn't have that audio bug of the 8XT that makes streaming music sound like a scratchy record, but it's still more prone to software hiccups than most other Windows phones we've handled. Sometimes the lock screen won't recognize a swipe up, and other times it takes several seconds for the phone to come out of sleep when the lock button is pressed. Now, is this lag a showstopper? No, not for everyone, but this is the second Sprint Windows phone that's exhibited lower than average responsiveness, so we're wondering if something within the carrier's bloatware load is causing the problem. Speaking of added software, there's plenty of customization on each of these phones. We've seen Sprint's load of additions and the nice-looking HTC tile on the 8XT, but we really love that HTC app, which presents news, weather, stocks, and so forth in a very pretty fashion, all covered up with a tile that jibes very well with the Windows Phone design language on the home screen. Unfortunately, that's the only exciting thing about the 8XT's custom software offering, until we get to the camera, anyway, because the special HTC area of the Windows Store only offers six titles. Six, folks. Now, on the Ative S Neo, there's the familiar Now tile, which, like the HTC tile, is quite handy for news, stocks, and weather, and other tools once you're inside it. But it's a shame the company hasn't yet cleaned up that Live tile for news, which is still low res and just really ugly. Fortunately, the company makes up for it with a hugely expanded Samsung zone in the Windows Store, something we weren't necessarily expecting, and which we'll get into in the full review. But we've got a lot of useful stuff here, from the long-sought app folder that lets you categorize apps on your home screen, to ports of popular Android titles like Paper Artist and Ative Beam, along with a really out-of-the-blue avalanche of camera add-ons. 
Samsung deserves kudos here for finally fleshing out its custom app offerings for Windows Phone. It's no Nokia collection, but staying within the lines of the comparison, Samsung definitely has HTC beat here. Both of these phones pack 8 megapixel shooters on their backside, the new standard for mid to high end phones, and the results are fairly comparable. The 8XT defaults to wide crops, while Samsung likes to stick with square, but aside from that, there's a lot of similarity here. On the whole, the Neo delivers more vibrant colors than the 8XT, and the Samsung phone also seems less prone to distortion from handshake or a stumble. That advantage reverses a bit in the video realm, though, where the Samsung phone's quality lags seriously behind HTC's, especially in sound performance. Each device offers many in-camera customizations atop the normal Windows Phone experience, add-ons that slow the software down somewhat, but which also lend needed flavor to Windows Phone's too Spartan viewfinder UI. Testing both phones on Sprint's networks in the greater Boston area, these phones continued to shine in different areas. Callers said they preferred our voice quality on the Ativas Neo, finding us sharper and clearer than on the 8XT, and that held true on our end as well. Talking on the Samsung phone is more enjoyable. As you might imagine, the story completely flipped around, though, when it came to the speakerphone performance. HTC's Boom Sound might be the most apt brand name in history because the dual front-firing speakers on the 8XT destroy the Ativas Neo's tiny rear-mounted unit in every category. Really, it's not even a contest. The 8XT also offers a slight edge in terms of reception, at least in our area. It's been able to consistently hold on to both 3G and 4G signals longer and reacquire them faster after being out of service than the Samsung device. As far as endurance goes, we'll have more battery information in our full review of the Ativ. Earlier this year, Sprint promised its users fresh new Windows phones, and technically, we guess it's delivered. But it's definitely more accurate to say that these devices are rehashes of phones we've seen before. Now, would we spring for the extra 50 bucks for a healthier app store, better call quality and display, and a removable battery? We'd hate to lose boom sound, but yeah, we'd probably go for the Samsung. The real shame here, though, is that either way we went, we wouldn't necessarily be all that excited. We congratulate Sprint on finally rejoining the Microsoft party, but if you're looking for a truly premium Windows Phone experience, your ideal phones still lie on other networks. That's going to do it for this comparison video, folks, but we're going to steal a trick from Jaime Rivera over at the Pocket Now Daily and ask you a question to close out this video. Which of these devices would you choose? Doesn't matter what your reasoning is, doesn't matter what your answer is, even if it is neither of them, just leave it down below so we can get the discussion going for all those Sprint customers looking for a Windows Phone 8 device. Uh, it has been a long enough wait, so let's give them something to talk about, especially if you're one of them. But before you go anywhere, please drop us a like if you enjoyed the video. Follow us on social media so you don't miss future content from Pocket Now. We'll have the Ativ S Neo review up shortly. Please stay tuned for that. But thank you for watching. In the meantime, and until next time, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. We'll see you soon.